This second video focusing on perspectives and interpretation builds from the previous one to outline the consequences of the key idea that perception and therefore knowledge is dependent, at least in part, on mind-dependent frameworks or schema, the concepts and theories in our minds that structure and organize raw sense data. Therefore, an appreciation of the influence that perspectives have over interpretation and therefore knowledge claims is fundamental to the top course. According to this model of perception, the argument as outlined by Immanuel Kant is that the mind is always active in the construction of experience or perception. Moreover, since different individuals and different groups of people have different frameworks and schema organizing that raw sense data, this explains why different people interpret the world differently and arrive at different knowledge claims. From this first principles assessment of perception, it's possible to extrapolate the consequences for all aspects of the top course. In short, the issue of perspectives is fundamental to understand what we can say about different areas of knowledge in terms of certainty, truth, and objectivity. Indeed, perspectives as a theme is also critical in terms of how we acquire each type of knowledge and the role interpretation plays in this process. The main consequence of perspectives is that the doctrine of absolutism, that knowledge is certain, permanent and universal, is flawed. Yet at the same time, a belief in extreme relativism, that knowledge varies from culture to culture and from one individual to another, is also unsatisfactory. One of the key elements of the top course is to offer students knowledge frameworks which they can implement to navigate between the extremes of absolutism and relativism. Linking the idea of absolutism and relativism to theories of truth, foundationalism can be understood very similar to a tower. The idea is that if you can show one truth is being absolutely certain, then this can form the foundation upon which you can build a body of knowledge that is also certain since it is connected to that absolute certainty. On the other hand, coherentism is an alternative theory of truth. And here, knowledge claims exist in a framework, rather like a fishing net. No one knowledge claim is absolutely certain, yet each claim works together with the others to form a mutually supporting system. When comparing these two theories of truth, both have advantages and disadvantages. The main disadvantage of foundationalism is that any claim to certainty of things in the physical world beyond pure ideas is questionable. The major disadvantage of coherentism is that since no singular knowledge claim is absolutely certain, then it's quite possible that an alternative framework of mutually supported knowledge claims is preferable to the other. And because there is no absolute certainty, there's no way of knowing which system is correct or truthful. The last point is to link the idea of perspectives and interpretation to the different areas of knowledge. What I often say to the students is that we can understand certainty on a sliding scale. And the more the influence of perspectives and interpretation has on the knowledge claims in the area of knowledge, the less certainty there is. Mathematics is definitely the most objective area of knowledge, it benefiting from the claims on the whole being logically certain. At the other end of the scale, I would argue that history and especially the arts are very much influenced by interpretation and perspectives, and therefore the claims are far more subjective and have less certainty. With regard to perspectives and interpretation, the key points to take away then is that as a development 
of the theory of perception outlined, different people have different knowledge frameworks or schema that is constructing their experience of the world. Therefore, they will arrive at different knowledge claims. In order to avoid the pitfalls of extreme absolutism and relativism, knowledge frameworks as espoused in the top course offer us a way to navigate between these extremes to understand better how knowledge functions and what knowledge is in the different disciplines.